we conducted some overnight uh, vehicle patrols and uh, some some shoreline work in harbors and and whatnot. Uh, the weather continued to be uh, not very pleasant over the evening hours, so due to the safety factors, we didn't have any teams searching beaches in the tide times as well. Uh, this morning, we anticipate having 25 to 35 searchers in that area. We're going to continue to conduct uh, shoreline searches uh, and, uh, and our investigation. We still continue to assist JRCC. Uh, they're still the, the lead agency in this uh, in this search until otherwise, uh, until they tell us otherwise. There hasn't been a lot in since three o'clock when I arrived this morning, but um, I'm sure everybody is just in a very sad state of mourning and just hoping and praying for these bodies to be found and and just really keeping all those families in our prayers. That's all we can do right now. We are a fishing community. Our families are all fishermen, and so we are. We know what these people are going through, and some have been there. So um, we just think it's just a great place for them to come and feel they can just relax and wait, and, and the wait is long. Our taskings today are focusing uh, further up, uh, up, up the uh, Bay of Fundy, more towards uh, uh, the Hampton uh, Beach area. Uh, we are putting teams in that area as well as we're going a little bit more to the west, uh, uh, checking uh, kind of the backside of the, the Bay of Fundy as well. Uh, we're just uh, factoring in the tide flow uh, and the way that the winds have been blowing for the last 24 hours and where debris may be going. Uh, that's what we're kind of focusing on today. The searchers are looking just to provide family with closure if possible, and that is our factor, our, our driving factors today. It's a lot of challenges that we have to uh, try to mitigate so that we can safely do our job, uh, but this is what ground search and rescue do. We are prepared.